Alright, I'm gonna start this recording out by saying, uh, bite me, Maloney. I'm hungry. I was eating. I was trying to hurry up, and you were just being mean to me. No, Johns. You're right, though. I'm sorry. Now everybody knows that you're late and not me. <laughs> Alright, do you actually have proof of this, though? Uh, Constable Lemon is my witness. That's bias. That's hella bias. He doesn't even like me. He doesn't even like me! <laughs> There's no bias. But it's West Michigan bias. He doesn't even like me, dude. Did, uh, did we, have I... this, like, uh, we have this brotherly sibling rivalry. <laughs> I'll do him next, so hopefully uh, his meat Michigan will just be better. Uh, probably will be. He's more famous than I am. I'm not even the most famous Muskegon smasher. That's a rough life. Real rough. And no, the, the unification circuit didn't help. Uh, oh, wait. I don't know. Is that another question, Ori? Damn it. I don't even know what I'm doing. I woke up like 15 minutes ago. Nice. Yeah. So, hello everyone. Welcome to Meet Michigan. Technically, number six with finally someone from West Michigan, but apparently not even the most famous West Michigan person. So, not even the most Muskegon person. I don't even know why I'm doing Meet Michigan anymore. It's just a travesty. So, uh, if you guys don't know how this goes about, uh. I ask the super dull, boring questions that everyone doesn't really care about, and then uh, later on in the podcast, we actually ask the questions that you guys actually really care about. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, Maloney, if you would please introduce yourself with you know things such as like how long you've been playing Smash, who's your mains, um, how you got into the community, how you got your name, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, well, I got into Smash like. The day Brawl came out, it's been a long time. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows by now that I just play Cloud. Even though I'd say that he's the worst character in the game all the time. What, uh... uh my, I got what? my name just... It's like a Zenodo story, I just mashed my face in the keyboard. Very graceful. You know, sometimes you just... You just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And Maloney stuck. Yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. I like it. Um, do you have a favorite memory from a Smash tournament? A favorite memory? Um, I'm not sure as if I have a favorite one. How about a favorite? Had... Like, oh, go on. If I had to guess, I would probably say at Proving Grounds, where I was seated like 32nd, and then I made my way all the way through the bracket, and I beat Dark Shad, and then I got like 4th place, only losing to Da Buzz and Tyroy. That was a pretty good one. It's good to finally hear something positive come out from the Proving Grounds. <laughs> I won't lie. It's one of the few things. <laughs> it started with the, it started with the negative where he seated me thirty second and I had to play the buzz round one. But minor details. Yeah. That that led to the good part. Yeah, got right. fourth anyway. You gotta take some bad with the good. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have a favorite tournament and a favorite set? Favorite tournament. Uh. I like Tempest a lot, even though it ended really early. Because I, I won. That was a fun one. My favorite set... My one against Smasher at Climax was pretty good. I liked that one a lot. It was really close, and I just barely won Game 5. I'm pretty sure everyone was expecting the win, the win over Ray at Reaper's game. I know that's probably like super generic, but I'm pretty sure like 95% of people were expecting that. So that's actually a super nice answer. Maybe if it was on stream. Alright, we all agreed. We didn't <laughs> want to jinx you. We're sorry that we gave you uh -huh. a Rayquaza win. Mm -hmm. 
a good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite anime. Favorite anime? Ray Zero. No question. Easy. <laughs> Easiest choice of my life. Favorite waifu. Aqua. Easiest choice of my life. <laughs> I'm loving his confidence. You're gonna have to give me these. He's gonna have to give me some harder questions here. Um, do you have like an inspir uh an inspiration in the Smash community? An inspiration? My inspiration is just to beat Nero. As soon as I'm better than Nero, I'll be out of inspirations. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy alright um is there a character that you wish you could play but you just can't um I can play any character I wish that I played more Marth but there's no reason to because Cloud is generally better I just don't have an excuse to play Marth it's like the closest thing I have to wishing that I could play a character. Is there a, a character that you wish that was both better and one that was nerf? Uh, I wish Roy was better. I wish that he was like around Marth's level. And a worse character would be uh, Bayonetta, easily. Bless you it's for just... not saying like Pikachu or Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi sucks. And Pikachu, I just have to be better than Nero. But say if you nerf Pikachu, like, you wouldn't have to work as hard. You could be him with Marth. Oh, good point. I should just go back to Sheik. I was 2-1 against him when I played Sheik. <laughs> Sheik, oh my gosh. That was, like, forever ago. What felt like forever ago. <laughs> uh, before, like, last year's Frostbite. Yeah, because I remember coming out to um, fight that one tournament with like the FGC, and I believe you're still playing Sheik there. So that sounds oh, all right. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one character that you want to see in Smash that'll never ever have a chance of making it. That'll never have a chance of making that'll it. That'll never have a chance. Um, I think. That's a tough one. Finally. Maybe like Joker from Persona 5 would be a good one, but I know he's never going to actually be in it. See, that makes the answer so much better. I think that was probably the best answer we've had from anyone so far. I, I think he could, he could fit, but uh, he's just not going to be in the game. I'm like looking at my collection of games to my right to see if anything gives me any ideas, and I don't see any. I like how you have inspiration right there as well. It's just, it's just right there. Um, do yeah, you have, I can't think of anything else. Do you have like a strange habit that you can do that most people can't? A strange habit? Yeah. That, I, that other people can't do? Yeah. Like, uh, I can uh, lick my elbow. Little quirky things like that. Not that I know of. I don't. I don't think that I have anything like that. Maloney, man, you're a uh, you're you're a very straightforward person. I kind of like that. Well, I'm just answering the question, <laughs> Scooshy. <laughs> Obviously, I'm hoping the more flavorful questions will uh get more out of you the questions that people care about yeah um understandable do you have a favorite food uh i like wings probably my favorite spicy garlic the the best one b-dubs uh, not really b-dubs but anywhere that is good spicy garlic b-dubs is like a mid-tier it's like you go there if there's no other option, oh. or if your friends want to hang out, like after a tournament. All right, that that ending part uh, kind of saved you a little bit. Um, dream job and no like professional gamer 
isn't an option because, well, I'm interviewing a gamer. Is professional neat an option? Yeah. Yeah, I'll consider that one. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll let's go. go. That one. Can, I, can I just be a professional neat? Yeah, that threw me off, but yeah, I like that one. Let's go. Professional neat. <laughs> You're making Nero jealous now. <laughs> uh, favorite game? Favorite game? Fire Emblem. No specific one, I just like the entire series. That, uh, that explained uh, the Roy buff, then. The Roy buff, the, the playing Marth. Sometimes. Wishing that Cloud wasn't there so I could play Marth more. Uh, three wishes. What would you do with them? I'd wish for more. With all three? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've won a lot of wishes, alright? Now, the actual strategy is that you wish for more genies to give you more wishes. Oh my god! And then, you, then you can give your genies to your friends. Everybody gets to be happy. Ugh. <laughs> You just gotta, I'm, I'm breaking the rules here, dude. You, you are! I'm starting to get the feeling that uh, you don't like me, Maloney. You're not, uh, you're not being very talkative here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, thinking outside the box here, man. You didn't think of those answers, did you? No, because everyone has the courtesy to not make me look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, everybody but Nero, Ori. Um... Nero doesn't get a genie. <laughs> okay, I guess this will be the last question of the boring <laughs> stuff. Um, what's one thing that you're craving right now? That I'm craving? Yeah. Mm, I don't know, I just kind of ate, so I don't really... There's no food that I'm craving. It doesn't have to be food. That's a good question. I don't know, I'm pretty content at the moment. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm here to make your life as hard as possible, buddy. You and my parents alike, apparently. Alright. On to the juicier questions, <laughs> I guess. Alright. TDT wants to know, hey, Maloney, why? Why not, dude? Give me three reasons not to. Nin wants to know, why do you think Cloud sucks? So, the thing about Cloud, he's a character of extremes. Either you completely destroy your opponent, and they're sitting there crying to you about how broken he is and how you're carried. Or they get one read on you and backer you at 20 and then you're just dead. And that, that feels terrible when that happens. And the problem is people are getting a lot better at getting those reads. So it's just more and more frustrating every time it happens. I felt like that was an actual heartfelt answer. Maloney's showing his soft side right now. It's, it's, a, it's a good answer. It's a very good That's answer, I agree. Um, Anger Alf says, hey Maloney, what's your favorite puffle in Club Penguin? I never played Club Penguin, I don't know. Alright, that's a fucking lie. Everyone and their mom played Club Penguin. I did not play Club Penguin. So sorry. Um, we already answered one. Canuck wants to know what makes Cloud suck so bad, but I think we kind of already answered that. Yeah, I already answered that. Um, Jose Q asked, what was your mentality versus Ray at Reaper's game? And where do you see yourself in one year in the Smash community? I mean, I didn't have a special mentality against him. I just went into it like I do against everyone else. I figured I was... If I played well, I would win. And if I didn't, I'd learn how to beat him next time. And as for where I'll be in a year from now in the Smash community, I would hope that I'm top three in the state, but you never know. Are we just going to blame Nero if you're not? Yeah, that's that's why I'm not top five. That's why I, I don't get to have any fun at any tournaments anymore. <laughs> I don't either. Low one, Ozone, and Nero destroy that. 
Last time I played against Nero, he just like nared me twice and I died at 20%. It was really fun. I never played Cloud against him again. Uh, Castro wants to know, who was your original main in Smash 4 and what made you make the jump to Cloud? I've had a lot of mains in Smash 4. The first one that I ever used in tournament was Pit, but that was in 3DS. After Wii U came out, I kind of switched to Ike, even though he was like the worst character in the game. And then I realized that he was the worst character in the game, and I switched to Luigi because I didn't want to lose anymore. And then I, uh, <laughs> after Luigi, I was getting destroyed at a manor smash by an unnamed uh, and a not to be named Captain Falcon player, and I just uh, oh. game. I was down 0-2, and I just decided to pick Diddy Kong because I was so desperate, and I won the set, and I just started playing Diddy Kong since then. Then Diddy Kong got nerfed, and I played Sheik, and then Sheik got nerfed, and I played Cloud. I just I switched because nerfs every time. As soon as I realized that I wanted to play good characters. That timeline sounded a little bit like uh, Ori's from Brawl, to be honest. I don't know much about his backstory from Brawl. No I one tell you. No one cares about his backstory anyways. He's a side character. Ooh. Savage. Yeah, he, wants he, give, to... he, he gives you all this money from all of his tournaments, and this is how you treat him? He pays your bills. Man, alright. I make him look good, too. Mm-hmm. All right, mediocre at best, you're right. <laughs> Meow wants to know, do you like eggs? Eh, I won't go out of my way to get eggs, but they're all right. Uh, Black Tactics asks, who wins, Cloud vs. Sheik? And 50-50 is not a valid reply. Sheik? What kind of question is that? <laughs> That's the East. It's Sheik. She destroys Cloud. Not even close. Damn. Um, <laughs> I felt a little attacked to just asking that. Or I'm holy <laughs> it's lord. Just, it's just it's chic free six four at least. Um, Nam will tell you otherwise, and Serge will definitely tell you otherwise. Masking the wrong people, apparently. <laughs> six four chic. Vegeta asked. What's your next goal for doubles with Nam now that you guys are undefeated in Michigan as of now? We aren't undefeated as of now. We lost to, we lost when we first started teaming, and we lost to Ray and Low One at Reapers game. But I guess our next goal would be to win Midwest Mayhem, I guess, or Rebirth, something like that. Right, I'm gonna have to block Vegeta in chat because he's making me look dumb too. So we actually have a lot of questions from Amiibo King, but these are actually like super good ones. So they're kind of like my questions where they're like boring, but they're kind of like getting to know you better. Okay. Uh, Alright, question one. How does it feel to be the best player in West Michigan? Um... Like, the thing about it is that it's, sometimes it just kind of sucks because, not to, like, insult the rest of West Michigan, because they're all obviously very good and they have beaten me several times before, but it's like, I know that if I'm playing at my absolute best, I just have no business losing to them, and that's, like, upsetting sometimes to know that if I'm, if I'm playing 100% and they're playing 100%, like, they might beat me, but... Odds are they won't. So sometimes it's like, like last season I won all but one tournament. So sometimes it's like no, I don't want to say no challenge, but because like James is bodying me lately, he beat me three times in a row. But it's like when you're, I'm sure Zenodo feels the same way sometimes, where there's like sometimes not a good reason for you for you to attend. I don't know. It's it's hard to word. They're all they're all very good. It's just hard to answer. I, I think I think we all understand that. That sounds super reasonable. Uh, next question. Oh, I lost. Where where is this thing at? 
There we go. Uh, how was the switch from Sheik to Cloud? Um, any any time you switch characters to something that's like not already your secondary, you just kind of go through a slump. Like just a big, you just lose for a while, no problem. But eventually, like for me, it took me like a month or two of bad results, and then I just came back to normal, no problem. It wasn't that hard. You worded this one a little bit weird, but what are uh, your strengths as a player and your weaknesses as a player? It's hard to say. I think it's it's hard to judge your own strengths and weaknesses. I don't know if I can really answer that. I know that some of my weaknesses are that I'll like my defensive habits are like always the same until they get punished over and over and then I adapt. But I always repeat, like I'll I'll do like a double jump from the ledge and then I'll keep doing that until I get bodied. And usually by that point I lose the stock because I got my double jump taken. Oh. Um, for offensive habits uh, or offensive, I don't know. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to judge your own weaknesses and strengths. Yeah, I figured I think, that was a uh, weird question, but I'd, I'd yeah. throw it out there. Uh, what's your greatest accomplish accomplishment inside and outside the Smash community? Um, inside? Probably... I mean, I got sixth on this PR. That's probably the best I've done, like, ever. Other than that, like, I won Tempest and almost, well, I got I got second at that one breakout. That's about it. One of those three. Uh, outside, when I was younger, like, 12 or 13, still living in Arizona, I did water basketball, and I actually, my team won that year. Water basketball, you never hear of that. Yeah, well, it's in Arizona. It's too hot to actually be outside. <laughs> Future career goals? Do you have any? Didn't we didn't we already decide future neat? Uh, well, I, I, I <laughs> Yeah, I I <laughs> that's I guess. A, that's, a, that's that's the that's the goal right there. Shame on me. Um this is actually the last one from Amiibo King. Uh, now it's kind of weird because it was like, I think like a week or two ago, but um, I'll ask anyways. How does your sponsor treat you? And are you looking for content with... What the hell is the second part? What? Are you looking for content with what you have? Uh... I don't even know what that second... How does your sponsor treat you? <laughs> I'm going to ignore that second part. Holy lord. They treat me pretty good. We've got no complaints. I assume that he meant... I assume he meant, am I content with what I have? I think that's that's, that's a solid yeah, guess. Let's, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty content. I got no complaints. Alright, we got two questions from Jose Q again. Um, what got you into Smash? What got me into Smash? Um... Again, a long time ago when I was in Arizona, my brother came out to visit and he brought a copy of Melee with him. Or maybe we rented it, I don't remember. But he, he's like, you ever play, he, ever, he asked me if I ever played it, and I hadn't, and we just played it, and I loved the game, but I never actually played it again until Brawl came out. Bought Brawl, and then the rest was history. What are some of the issues uh, Michigan Smash has, and what are your thoughts on them? Uh, there's a lot of issues. I don't want to... We ain't got time for all of them. <laughs> so I guess I'll go with the most recent trend I've seen of everyone just being a, a huge crybaby about Bayonetta. Like, they're like saying they're going to quit the game. Bayonetta's ruining it. If I ever come back, I'm coming back as a Bayonetta main. Like, all this just... It's, it's a problem. If if your if your mindset is to quit the game because now there's a solid 
number one character, then you were not going to make it very far. Bless your soul. Constable Limina wants you to fix it. What are you going to do about this? Uh, I don't know. I didn't say I was going to fix it. I just I said what, what the problem was. This That's is, the Bayonetta's issue to fix. This is why he's a professional neat, guys. Exactly. Uh, the Jack Ross on Twitter asks, uh, what was your favorite win from last season and why? Rayquaza. The entire venue popped off for me. It was great. Except for Boo Bear, who didn't congratulate me ever. Shots. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out of that one now that uh <laughs> Um Ori has three questions, so uh brace yourself, Ori, for some uh some very lengthy explanations by Maloney here. Okay. Um how does it feel to have <laughs> had as many sponsors as Nam had character crisis? Okay, to be fair, I've only had I've only had like three, and one of them was just a rebrand, and the other was I moved with the former owner. Did the uh, the Michigan Unification Circuit or series uh, help with West Michigan? Did it help West? It helped. It definitely helped the attendance of Tempest. I can easily say that because it was the biggest event we've ever had. And Other so, than uh, that, <clears throat> it's probably probably pretty indifferent to it. And um, how does it feel to know that I, along with some patches, help retired two of your characters? Two? That's coming from one? Ori. I know, I know Zero Suit. What's the other one? Uh, let's see if Ori will reply. But uh, until then, uh, kill or fuck Mary Kill the Michigan PR and or um, smash TOs. You can pick whichever one. Whichever one. Yeah, if you want to do the TO side or the PR side, whatever's easiest for you. I want to go with the PR side because there's an easy list of them right here on the Michigan Smash 4 page. All right, let's see. Uh, uh de definitely marry Ally. That's an easy choice. I think everybody would marry Ally. Uh, probably marry Zenodo. Kill Rayquaza. Me and Ryuga could have had a thing, but I remembered last time he said he would kill me, and I'm not going to let that happen. i got to strike first. <laughs> uh, kill Nero. <laughs> kill Low One. Nam and I are already married. Uh, marry Ozone. Kill Smasher. Kill Daybreak. I, I think you just kill everybody else. Alright, so you're just going to be blue your whole life, apparently? Yeah. Just like your waifu. I can appreciate that. You gotta, you gotta understand. Uh, Ori said that uh, he uh, double eliminated your Sheik. Ori didn't retire my Sheik. It was, that was straight up just Sakurai and Cloud being released. I think, uh... Yeah, you, you didn't even go after Blade. Like, pretty good stuff. Like, wow, alright. I don't cheat. I got like three wives. You expect me to cheat with someone else? I mean, why stop at three? <laughs> that's 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 the harder part right there. <laughs> um, There's so many more options. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Blade well enough. I don't. I don't think I've ever talked to him. Kiter asks, "What defined the Maloney level up from mid to a good player?" I stopped complaining about everything, like <laughs> like Bayonetta, for example. I, I just got over it and learned how to fight it. I learned that you'll never get better if all you're going to do is complain and hope for patches to fix your problems. You have to either make it happen for yourself or you're, it's just, you're just going to be a gym for your whole life. Here's my heaven over at Twitter. Uh, asks, why do you like Aqua so much? Uh, best girl. There's not really, there's nothing more to it. She's the best girl. 
Uh, TDT ask if you had a choice, what would you make the next PR image theme? I didn't have to choose this one. I get to choose another one. Uh, uh, apparently so. You're privileged. <laughs> All right. Uh, probably Konosuba. Fucking boring, dude. Bro. Bro. Come on. It's a good theme. Uh, okay, so we got one more uh, normal question, and we got two awful ones. And then if chat has any questions, we'll go from there. So, uh, DD Soul Fan from Twitter asks if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Teleportation. I'd say I, 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 I just want to be places. I don't want to travel, I just want to be there. See, uh, Ryuga said that two weeks ago. That means he has the first strike. Darn it. Um. Uh. Alright, super speed. Same same concept. I just want to be there. But that's fair. Um, and another one from DB Soul Fan, and this is one of the the weird ones. Um, God, this is. If your farts could have a flavor, what flavor would they be? That's a toughie. That's a, that's a tough one. Uh, strawberry. <laughs> I don't know. That's, 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 that's all I got. That, <laughs> it's hard to come up with an answer to that one, alright? That, that's fair. That's very fair. Um... Or you just asked, if there was a Michigan Smash house, who would you want in the house? Well, like a like a gaming house? Like oh, the yeah. league team have? Yeah, like a, a normal Smash house. Uh, maybe like a Smash Summit kind of thing. Okay, like a Smash Summit? You'd have to just probably just pick the whole PR if it's going to be like a Summit thing. If they're going to live there, if I'm going to live there with them, uh, Ally Zanotto... Nero and Nam, and I guess Ozone can come in too. He says like the Sky House, like the Loft, things like that. So people you would actually want to live with. Uh, Ally Zanotto, Nero, Nam, and Ozone. And uh, Constable Lemon and Hot and Ready. And Canuck. <laughs> Aren't you going to need a video editor? Won't you need a uh, Sea Island there with you? Sea Island. Never heard of them. Never heard of. Them. Forgetting about the Falcon that body do. Never heard of them. Oh, Seth? You mean Seth? Sure. <laughs> sure, he can come. All right, I have one more question, and I don't. I think you forgot about this question, and I'm hoping you did. Um, Oko asked, "Would you rather have nipple-sized penis?" Or penis-sized nipples. I'm gonna make you explain your reason on that one. Uh, I, 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 do I have to choose? You, you are definitely choosing. <laughs> it's only been thirty-five minutes. <laughs> uh. Uh, I don't know, man. That's that's a tough one. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to go with uh... with the. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. That's. All right, I'm I'm gonna have to go with Ori. Nipple nipple sized penis. Science can fix it. You. Fucking cop out! Oh my god, Ori, you're hey, banned. Get the hell out of my get get out of here, Ori. I am. Thanks, Ori. I'll never forget you. Damn it, Ori. <laughs> wow, you unbanned him. I see that. It wasn't me. <laughs> Dude, I got his back, dude. You can't you can't just ban him.
So if anyone else has questions uh, for the ch from the chat, uh, you can ask them now. But it sounds like uh, we already might be over because Maloney uh, cuts right to the point. You know, he does not have time for us working people. He has to get back to his anime, his Mountain Dew, and his Doritos. My man, a few words. And that's putting it politely. <laughs> Oh, why is your McCree suck? What's up with that? It it doesn't. It's good. I'll sh I'll show you. Uh, I man, I can't, I can't. I just I suck at aiming. All right, I'm just not good at shooters. Uh. I feel. But, all right, Ori asked the real question. That's how we'll end this. Uh boxers or briefs? Uh, I wear boxer briefs. They're the uh, they're optimal and they're the most comfortable. I I, I feel a little cheated from this meet Michigan. <laughs> I don't know what you expected, buddy. I was definitely expecting you to give me more sass. Oh, my bad. I'll, but I'll do better next time. Next time. <laughs> huh. What? <laughs> I think you should do Constable Lemon next. He'll talk your head off. Noted. I actually do have another person picked up. Uh, it's funny because Amiibo King messaged me and he was like, please tell me I'm the next Meet Michigan. He is not. Ooh. But Spoilers, I, you heard I, it here first. Yeah. But we do have someone I think that should be probably like roughly as good, I hope. We'll see. Ori, when I interview you, it has to be in person and we gotta be drinking, alright? Gotta keep traditions up. You won't be drunk, then I'm not he interviewing won't. you. He's not doing it. Outraged. But, uh, yeah, that will be the end of Meet Michigan, uh, Season 2, Episode 2, with Maloney. Maloney, do you have any final words? Uh, Nero sucks. <laughs>